Covent Garden is a fantastic market because it gets produce from small suppliers and small growers that you can't get anywhere else. It's a showcase of the best of British growers, the best of European growers, and beyond that, the best growers all around the world. Our market at Covent Garden is essentially chef's kitchens, and what they want is fantastic produce, and that's what we do. Our job is to find the produce from all over France and indeed beyond and bring it into the market. So we are dealing directly with growers. In France, that's mainly big cooperatives like Prince de Britannia. So we have a depot in Rongis. Our people in Rongis will phone round their growers. They'll get the stuff shipped into Rongis. Then we truck it across to London, put it on our stand and sell it on to the suppliers who in turn take it into the kitchens. The point of our journey was to follow produce from the growers all the way to a chef's kitchen. We chose to go to Brittany because it's very mild climate, means there's a wonderful range of top-notch produce available in late spring and early summer. And we chose chef Alan Bird because his food, honed by many years as head chef at the Ivy and now his own restaurant Bird of Smithfield, is all about sympathetic and simple treatments of the very best ingredients. So we started in Brittany and I always think of Brittany, you think of two things, don't you? You think of the coast and you think of artichokes. And we saw both, sometimes together, these magnificent fields that sweep down to the sea, full of artichokes, the little baby petty violettes, the great big camas, the big globe artichokes, the most fantastic stuff. And I mean, in the most idyllic setting. We saw tomatoes as well, of course, uh, grown in the glass houses because it's much milder climate over there. So they grow very, very good tomatoes because tomatoes need sun to get that real depth of flavor, which their tomatoes have. We then followed the produce from the growers, having spoke to the growers, having watched them pick, having watched them harvest, to Ronchi's, the biggest wholesale market in the world, an absolutely stunning place. And we saw the produce arrive in Ronchi's, we saw it bought, we saw it in the market, we watched everybody working together, buyers, sellers, wholesalers, guys who drive forklifts, who, are, who really seem to share this love of food. I mean, that's what Ronjis is about for me. It's, it, it, it is about everyone there loves food. Everyone who works in Ronjis loves food, right across the board. We saw it packed, we saw it put in a lorry, and we saw it shipped to Covent Garden, to the French Garden Depot in New Covent Garden. There we met Alan Bird. Alan went through everything, picked what he liked best. He picked his tomatoes, he picked his artichokes, he picked his cauliflowers brought them back to his wonderful restaurant in Smithfield and cooked them for us. I thought the, the uh, level of quality was uh, fantastic. Really great quality veg on display and fruit. Um, great selection and just good to see all of those um, seasonal vegetables coming in from, from the continent as well. Lovely to see those beautiful artichokes. The highlight of the whole trip for me was standing in a field by the sea seeing the petit violettes growing. Now petit violettes I love as a vegetable. They're something I really like um, to eat myself and something I always recommend to my customers. They're amazing value, they're fantastic quality. And when you think that a petit violette will probably cost you half of the winter Italian equivalent, they, you know, they really are the most amazing value. And I've always loved them because they, they are such stunning quality, but to see them in situ growing in the field and meet the people who grew them, and watch them harvest them was an incredibly thrilling experience. The tomatoes, phenomenal, beautiful color, coloration, lovely, you know, different varieties there, beautiful flavor, um, pleasure to work with. You don't want to adulterate them. I think the thing that impressed me most about Brittany is how it's this wonderful combination of traditional growing with the most modern techniques. I mean, I think the tomatoes were typical of that. Uh, we saw very old varieties, heritage varieties, which means they're at least 50 years old, if not older, all different shapes, sizes, colours, fantastic flavour. And although they're using the latest techniques, they're using the latest technology, at the heart of it lies very old-fashioned horticulture, good old-fashioned horticultural know-how, which is a wonderful thing to see. And the modern technology is being used to enhance that, not to supplant it. Beautiful cauliflower as well. Really um, nice and creamy white colour, nice and firm, um, you know, fantastic condition. There were some great ingredients here. If you want to capture that magic, if you want to capture the best of the growers across Europe, you use a firm like French Garden, who go to Rongis, who deal direct with the farmers in France, and bring it into Covent Garden. And that is where you will find the, the very, very best produce. Because what Covent Garden has got is quality. What Covent Garden is about is quality. It's about smaller growers 
who put a lot more care, a lot more love into what they're growing, getting a fair price for their product. So what Covent Garden is, is a showcase for the world's best growers. It's where if you've got a very, very high quality item, that's where you want to put it because you'll get a fair price for it, which is why you want to buy your veg in Covent Garden, because that is where you will get the very best. It really is as simple as that.